Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for saying my kids are the main reason I would never cheat on my wife. I've been friends with Jason 38N since high school. Over the years our families have grown close, and our kids are of similar ages. For context, Jason is married to Bree and they have two young girls. Last month, Bree received anonymous messages suggesting that Jason was cheating on her. When Bree started looking into it, she discovered that Jason had been having an affair with a co-worker for the past two years. This revelation was devastating for Bree, and she reached out to my wife for support. My wife and I decided to stand by Bree during this difficult time. We helped her confront Jason, and as a result she asked him to leave their home. Jason has since moved in with his parents and has been trying everything he can to reconcile with Bree. Given the circumstances, I had to make a difficult decision to support Bree and her children while cutting off contact with Jason. Despite his attempts to reach out to me, I remain firm in my decision. Last week, Jason's mother contacted me to let me know that Jason was struggling. She told me he was experiencing severe panic attacks and wanted to talk. I was hesitant to agree, especially since my wife was strongly opposed to the idea. However, after some consideration I decided to meet with him. He came over to our house on Friday evening. My wife chose to stay in our bedroom with the kids because she didn't want to see him. When Jason arrived, he was extremely apologetic and emotional. He told me how angry he was at himself for his actions, how he had ended the affair in an attempt to repair his relationship with Bree, and how he was planning to leave his job to distance himself from the situation. He asked me to speak with Bree on his behalf so they could at least discuss their marriage and possibly find a way to move forward. It was heartbreaking to see him so distressed, but he began to shift some of the blame onto Bree. He complained that Bree had been ignoring him for years and that their problems had driven him to make this grave mistake. I lost my patience and told Jason to stop blaming Bree. I told him if he had issues with her, he should have addressed them directly instead of cheating. I made it clear that cheating was the worst thing he could have done and that he had no idea how deeply he had hurt Bree. I told him that his actions not only devastated Bree, but also negatively impacted his children's lives. They had done nothing wrong but were now suffering because of his selfish behavior. I explained that his actions had punished his kids and their lives would never be the same. I was angrier at him for ruining his daughter's lives than I was about the situation with Bree. We argued for some time and eventually I told him that I couldn't help him and that we would continue to support Bree and ensure she and the kids were taken care of. He left after that. My wife appreciated that I didn't support Jason and that I didn't let him shift the blame to Bree. However, before we went to bed, she asked why I focused so much on the impact on the kids when talking to Jason. She felt that Bree, as the one who was wrong, should have been the primary focus of my conversation with Jason. I told her that from my perspective, I felt more for the kids because they had a stable home that Jason had destroyed. My wife then asked if I would stop myself from cheating because of my love for her or because of our kids, we also have two girls. I replied that while my morals would be the main reason, the thought of ruining our daughter's lives would also prevent me from ever cheating. My wife was hurt by my response because she felt she should be the main reason for my fidelity. I understand her perspective and love her deeply. However, I also want our daughters to have a stable and loving home, which is why I said what I did. Am I wrong for prioritizing my daughter's happiness over my love for my wife? Shouldn't she be the main reason for my commitment to our marriage? Loptate? I want to express my gratitude to everyone who offered advice on my previous post. The past week has been overwhelming and I've been left feeling numb after what happened yesterday. As you know, Jason was caught cheating last month, and during our heated argument last week, I told him he should have considered his kids before engaging in a two-year affair. My wife was upset that I focused on the kids rather than on Bree, who was the one wronged. I agree that my comments may have been harsh, and it was an emotionally charged situation. That night, I had a long and heartfelt conversation with my wife. I apologize for saying that the main reason I would avoid cheating was to protect our daughter's happiness and reassured her of my love and commitment. She was understanding and didn't hold it against me, but she did wonder why I kept emphasizing the kids during my conversation with Jason. 
The reason I focused on the kids was because, when Bree found out about the affair, she was devastated and reached out to my wife, who is one of her closest friends. I volunteered to look after Jason's daughters while Bree took time to recover. His older daughter, who is eight, somewhat grasped the situation, but his four-year-old daughter, who is very attached to her dad, kept asking for him. It was heart-wrenching to witness their suffering and to see how their lives were being upended by Jason's actions. I understand that this was their relationship, but the impact on the kids affected me deeply. My wife was supportive and later spoke with Bree about my conversation with Jason. Bree was hurt but asked if she could come over to discuss things with me. When Bree visited, she wanted to know about my conversation with Jason. I was honest about everything that happened and apologized for my comments. Bree asked if we thought Jason could change and if we could host both of them to ensure they felt safe. Jason and Bree came over on Sunday, and it was the first time Jason had seen his daughters in a month. It was a very emotional reunion, with tears all around. Jason apologized extensively to Bree, promising to do everything he could to make things right. He had given a 14-day notice at his job, vowed never to see his affair partner again, and suggested moving closer to Bree's parents for a fresh start. Bree accepted most of his promises, but decided against moving. They agreed that Jason could return home, and they would work on their relationship from there. They thanked us for our help, and Jason also apologized to me for the drama. While it seemed like a positive outcome on the surface, my wife is concerned that my comments about the kids might have pressured Bree into taking Jason back. I never intended to interfere in the relationship, and I hope they find a way to heal and move forward. I'm seeking opinions on whether what I did was right, or if I accidentally played a role in getting them back together, possibly leading to more issues if Jason cheats again in the future. Honestly, this is exactly why I'm feeling so bad. I didn't mean to but my comments might have made Bree feel guilty and stay with Jason. I've known Jason for a lifetime and never thought he was capable of betraying Bree. I no longer trust him and am unsure if I can continue being friends with him. The problem is, I really don't want to be involved in their issues anymore. I feel like Jason is my friend but it's strange to give them advice about their own marriage. I don't feel like it's my place to tell them what to do. I know Jason is a terrible person for what he did, but I hope he will change and not hurt Bree any further. I always worry that Bree might end up in a worse situation because of something I said in the heat of the moment. Thank you everyone for listening to my story.